The time Kesha found out she had Martin Syndrome. Martin Syndrome! Kesha is a 16-year-old girl that played for her school's varsity basketball team. She is 6 feet tall and was diagnosed with Marfan Syndrome. From a young age, she excelled at basketball because she was much taller than the rest of the kids on her team. Her parents told her that she was only experiencing an early growth spurt, but as she grew older, her body and limbs continued to grow. One day, her parents confronted her about the idea that she may have Marfan Syndrome. They told Kesha that they had talked to her physician and he had explained to them what Marfan Syndrome was and what some of the signs and symptoms were. Kesha was interested to learn more about Marfan Syndrome. When they talked to her physician, he told them there's a good chance of Kesha having Marfan's due to the signs she displayed. He told them that Marfan's is caused by a gene defect in the 15th chromosome. This causes a problem in the production of a protein called fibrillin. The gene is named FBN1. Kesha was confused on how she got Marfan's. Her parents explained that the FBM1 gene was passed down from one of them. One of her parents has Marfan's, but in some cases, Marfan's is very mild with very few effects. Some people may not even know that they have Marfan's. Fibrillin is a protein found in muscle fibers, and weakened muscle fibers can lead to lots of different problems in the body. The mutated gene is dominant. One of her parents is heterozygous for Marfan's, and one is homozygous, so they had a 50-50 chance of having a child with Marfan's syndrome. Some symptoms and signs that Kesha showed were flat feet, a crooked spine, loose joints, and abnormally large hands, and long, narrow fingers. The biggest threat with Marfan's is damage to the body's largest artery, the aorta, where it can rupture or tear, leading to injury or even death. She went to the hospital and got diagnosed with Marfan's. The doctor told her, Marfan's syndrome affects people differently, so life is not the same for all teens who have it. Some have severe cases of Marfan's syndrome, and many symptoms require lots of medical care. Others have such mild forms that they only need checkups once a year. This does not mean that Kesha should be a couch potato. She should continue to be active and exercise, but she should be careful. Treatment for Marfan syndrome usually includes medications to keep your blood pressure low and reduce strain on weakened blood vessels. After a lengthy debate, Kesha and her parents talked over the risks and dangerous possibilities and came to a conclusion that Kesha can't play basketball anymore. Yeah. Can't